The Daily Beast had this really interesting article about an admirer of James Holmes. Now, James Holmes, of course, is the Aurora, Aurora Colorado shooter. And um, this 30-year-old by the name of Misty Benjamin was interviewed by the Daily Beast. And she basically kind of makes excuses for him and basically says that he's not a bad guy. He's actually a good guy. In fact, uh, we're not emphasizing his intelligence enough. So, um, yeah. Let, yeah, let me read you a few of her quotes. I'm, uh, I'm going to be judgmental, just a little... Pre-warning. Yes. yes. So she says, uh, even after everything I heard, I can still say I can still support this human being. He is not an animal. I don't think he is a bad guy. What he did was bad. Uh, wrong again, Misty. No. Uh, you see, you become a bad guy when you do bad things like murder a great number of people. So there are some mistakes you can't recover from. Okay, mm. and no, we have no indication he even believes it was a mistake. So. No, no, this is just nonsense. She's just seeking attention. She, you know, there's something deeply wrong in her life, and she's going to get, and she thinks this guy, we've seen this phenomenon before. This guy's in prison. Right. He has to give me attention because I'm the only one who's mental enough to try to show him love. It, it's, it's really sad. Yeah, I agree it's sad. The reason why I don't want to be too judgmental is because obviously she is disturbed. Something is terribly wrong in her life and we don't know what it is. You know, there's some there's some interesting things about what she says. I mean, I agree with you totally. We, I, and we've seen with you. We've seen them, you know, it's a tough situation. Like you feel bad for her. We've seen this before. It's a weird phenomenon that we get that men in prison uh, get this attention from from women. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a weird it's literally a captive audience. Yeah, it, you know, like, I, you know, I never thought about it that way. It's a really interesting point. Um, but like, you know, when she says things like, you know, he's not a bad guy, what he did was bad. I mean, you know, I, I tend to agree with you. You can't, I, I don't know, I don't think it, it doesn't matter. I don't know whether he's a good guy or a bad guy or whether this was one complete sort of, uh, you know, uh, disassoci disassociative mental break. Mm -hmm. It's possible, you mm -hmm. know, it doesn't matter. Like, doesn't matter it doesn't at all. Doesn't matter. Um, I mean, it matters as far as we treat him going forward. It's okay with me if he has mental health counseling while he's in prison. I, as long as he never gets out, I don't the care. The one part I agree yeah. with is you don't have to treat him like an animal. Right, you right. treat him as a, you know, as a human being who committed a crime and will have to serve a life sentence you know, in maximum security prison. And that's it. Right, without the possibility of parole. I don't even care about maximum security prison. I mean, it's, I assume, yeah. I mean, whatever. What that means to me is that you can't get out doesn't mean you, like, you treat him like a dick. Right. Yeah, right. there's no escaping, you know. Yeah. No, we have to be decent human beings. Right. His inhumanity should not uh, make us inhumane. But at the same time, he's nobody to be celebrated here. And right. look, it's one thing to say, you know, this guy cheated on his wife. But he might, he did a bad thing, but he might not be a bad guy. Same thing, he cheated on a husband, et cetera, right? This guy this killed is, 12 this, people. This guy you, killed I mean, 12 you, people, that's yeah. what makes you a bad guy. You, you yeah. embezzled money from a company. You know, I mean, there are things, there are mistakes people made that you can recover from. You this know, is not one of them. This is not one of them. Yeah, yeah. she continues to say, when they showed photos of him, everything I saw were cries for help. He wanted someone to stop him. He knows he is in trouble. He stands and sits when he's told. There is a childlike quality to him. When I get upset, I look at his picture and I calm down. Yeah, there's something really, really wrong with Misty. Uh, and look, I feel bad for her. She hasn't done any harm to anybody else. And obviously she's trying to look for attention in all the wrong ways. I mean, look at the, the worst excuse I've ever seen for a person. Uh, he sits down when somebody tells him to sit down. Oh, well, then he must be a great guy. That's what you went to for trying to explain why he's a good guy? Rookie does that. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. Rookie's Ben's dog, okay? And Rookie didn't kill 12 people. Mm -hmm. And here's, yeah, people, oh, he's just trying to look for some help. Well, go to, he should have gone to counseling, okay? Yeah. You don't, and he's like, oh, he was trying to be stopped. But well, then, I, I, how about he stopped himself? Well, I mean, no, I, but I don't even nonsense. care about that stuff. Like, I mean, I don't know, maybe he was trying, to, you know, go to counseling, whatever. It doesn't matter. Like, it just doesn't, he did it. We have, we have a very particular system. He did it, we caught him, we got to make sure he doesn't get out, can't do it again. Yeah, I just have, like, maybe I'm a bad guy, but I'm going to go over the top. I have no interest in his feelings. Yeah. I don't give a damn what his problem was. Like, I care about those people. God, my God, you were, if you were at that movie theater, your loved one was at that movie theater, they went to a movie, they get shot and killed by this guy, and now some person's making excuses, oh, he sits down every once in a while when somebody tells him to sit down. I don't give a damn. What's amazing is there are groups of people that have come together in support of him. In fact, uh, you know, uh, Misty Benjamin created a Facebook page and 16 people have liked it. I mean, 16 people is not a lot, but still, I mean, to know that there are 16 people out there that are supportive of this I mean, dude. I don't know. The, the 15 of those might be trolls, right? right? Like they might think that it's funny to support, you know, 
Uh, you know, it's the internet, right? Mm -hmm. But her, she seems genuine about it. Yeah. And by the way, this is a cry for help from her, and she should get counseling.